Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here. I'm free, I'm out <laughs> um, and about, although technically we are still in lockdown, so we've got to be uh, careful in that respect. Start, you bastard! Driven it. <laughs> no, I must have adjusted my seat somehow. There we are. Right. Okay. Harry the stag. We're free! Just doing a quick check-in. Um, I'll show you where I've been today. I've ended up um, out in a new forest somewhere off a bit of a drive, but um, I decided the stag needed a bit of a, well, the, the whole thing was to move the car off the drive so that my son, Trumpet Bola Bob, could do the uh, hedge, uh, trim the hedge back. And I said, well, I'll just go for a quick trip around the block. That ended up being a trip out and I'll show you in just a minute what's what, uh, what's happened. And uh, yeah, so I've had a blast. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look and see what's happened. Now, I know the purists are going to probably scrag me for doing what I've just done, but I've actually taken this car down to the local uh, car wash, um, predominantly because the car was dirty, having been stood on the blinking drive for a long time, and I haven't been able to sort out the garage mess to see what's going on, but predominantly because I wanted to see where all these leaks were coming from. And having had to sit in this car because of COVID, um, I have noticed, this is my own records as well, uh, where the water is coming in. And you can see it showered all over the seat here. Um, from the lead edge up here, it's just pouring out. Again, it's all coming through underneath here. Uh, it seems to be draining through. This top part here is key. There are obviously gaps at the back of the window. You may be even be able to see one or two drips there as well coming through. Um, so that's actually been quite an education. I did read on line once that um, if you wanted to find out how your stag was leaking, look at this here, this is absolutely pouring through here and I'm actually quite wet as you may be able to see from my jeans. But um, no, that's been very useful to do actually. I've got a few clues now about where to look as to where the water's coming in. Some of it which we, we knew about, um, other bits we didn't and um, so that's been very helpful. Uh, I guess now I can uh, not only have a nice new clean car but I now know where this blinking water is coming from and more importantly where it's going. This is why it was pooling down the bottom um, which is all very refreshing because I think the, the issue with these cars can be that the um, heater matrix which is tucked way into the back of the uh, dashboard here the, the seals on those can leak and uh, that's big trouble if you've got to take the entire dashboard out but um, yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I will share this. I'm, I'm bound to get loads of grief, I know I am, for daring to put a classic car through a car wash such as this. But I have been coming here for a number of years. I cross my Mercedes with these guys. They are very friendly and nice guys. It's nice to support the local community as well. That looks like it needs changing. Um, but uh, there we go. I think we are now getting some polish, which is good. So they're doing the polish on the roof as well, which is fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, very healthy to uh, to give that a go. And look at this, the, uh, the actual bonnet is coming up nice and tidy already. So uh, saves me up the dirt, doesn't it? <laughs> Happy days. I'm gonna get absolutely wanged for this, I know, but uh, bring it on guys. I had to find out where these leaks were. And I'm so glad that I did so. Um, so even if I only ever do it the once, uh, it's better than sitting in the garden waiting for the boys to hose me down with a hose. At least these were jet washes that uh, really helped me find out um, just how wet my trousers can get in a very short space of time. <laughs> Happy days! On the road. What a nice change. And I tell you what folks, I'm smiling ear to ear because um, there's nothing better than the sound of that V8 burble, is there? 
Harry the Stag. And uh, a beautiful spring, sunshiny day, driving in uh, local uh, country lanes with the, uh, not quite the wind in my hair because I've got the roof on, but uh, anyway, it's uh, a gorgeous experience and uh, one to be uh, really, really chuffed about. It's great to be back out again for a bit, albeit we're going to be safe and everything else I know, but um, we are at least uh, spreading our wings a little bit and um, yeah, it's uh, just a real pleasure. Hope you're keeping safe wherever you are and uh, that's all good. So I just stopped around the corner having had the uh, car wash and as you can see here it's looking really nice. This was a very tidy example when we first bought the car. Um, I just pulled over to um, raise the aerial up so I could get some reception on the radio, not that I necessarily need it but I uh, thought I'd just test it to make sure it works okay. But um, as I say you can just see how well this car has been looked after and uh, brought up to scratch and um, I'm really chuffed with it. So uh, now need to go to Halfords just briefly to pick up some sticky stuff to go on the number plate. Because if those of you who have been very observant would have seen my number plate fell off the other day. So I've just got to go and get some of that. But uh, no, it's great to be back on the road and um, out in the stag. Lovely. All right, well, that was an experience. Um, yeah, we are still under lockdown, as we all know. So I've had to queue up. Uh, to get some very basic supplies and I'll show you those in just a second from Halfords completely understand why uh, touch uh, touch card payment and uh, a guy on a motorized scooter whizzing around the store to go and get stuff that we wanted which I thought was pretty neat actually very clever <laughs> let me just show you what we bought all right um, so simply all it was was some uh, number plate fixing pads which um, that I believe will split into little sections um, so we can be sticking the number plate on with that. Um, I've got a couple of those and then also just in case I've got some of these number plate fixing kits which are also quite good so it's white obviously for the front of the car on the white uh, background of the number plate and yellow uh, because we do have a yellow number plate on the back um, of the stag so uh, that's what we bought. Um, hopefully now I can stick the number plate on and make it look nice. And yes, I know, before anybody writes in or complains, um, there was an incident involving the parcel um, shelf a little while back, uh, which needs fixing. I do have a replacement, so I will be replacing that soon enough. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so there we are. It's um, great to be out and about, as I mentioned a few times, and um, <laughs> really cool. I've got to do a three-point turn now, because everything's shut, it would seem. No car parks open, which is understandable. Um, but as I haven't actually stepped outside the car, I uh, can't see that that's a problem as we are now technically allowed out, as they say. But uh, there you go, all good. <laughs> I'm loving this, absolutely loving it, I really am. Just rekindled. We've been locked down for so blinking long at, uh, at home and then to actually get the chance to get out and um, drive the car around, I think it's just, uh, just amazing. <laughs> And it's a really great day for being out in the stag, out in country lanes and around uh, the sunshine with a clean, good looking stag all raring to go. This is what ownership is all right. It's just really reminded me what a great car it is actually. It is top notch, it really is. Okay, so um, what I'm going to try and do now is just show you what's been happening down in Bournemouth Burn Airport um, over the last few months, actually, well, a couple of months during the lockdown. You'll see it any second now are the uh, aircraft that have ended up being parked on the apron here uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Presumably, it's cheaper to park here than it is up at Heathrow, but uh, just fascinating how many millions and millions and millions of pounds of aircraft are parked up waiting for us all to get back to some sense of normality when the uh, COVID-19 issue is resolved. And I believe it will be at some point. It's just uh, quite eerie, I suppose, to see this number of aircraft parked up, going nowhere, apart from uh, the odd occasion you hear an engineer firing an engine up or something. But uh, I think you can probably get a better look of them 
now there's uh, all sorts of jetliners, large and small, uh, little short hop aircraft and so on, all waiting to get back in the air. So uh, a uh, really interesting phenomenon of this lockdown. And as boys, we used to come down here, my little Triumph Errol 1200 TUD 182G. Uh, it's known as Matcham's Lane near Ringwood. Uh, drops down towards Bournemouth and the uh, Burn Airport. And as some of you can see, there's uh, a number of little bumps here along the road that still now, um, boy racers, of which I was one once, uh, would tank down these roads at uh, significant miles per hour and uh, try and take off, uh, which seems to be um, a thing you do when you're 18 or 19. Um, this particular bend coming up right here is uh, a particularly interesting tight bend and this is exactly what happened back in the 70s. I don't know, boy racers. And I've just pulled over as I mentioned to uh, take in some of the scenery in the uh, New Forest at, uh, up near Ringwood and that's been really great. Um, and uh, I've just been passed by a guy who pulled over, I thought uh, he knew me but he didn't, saying, um, oh right, hasn't folded in half yet then. <laughs> I wittily responded, no, because it's got a roof on it. Um, but we didn't have a discussion about overheating ourselves, I suppose, that's, um, that's positive. On the upside, if you just look down at my um, temperature dial here, where are we, just down there, we've been running now, let's move the steering wheel, we've been running now for about um, 15, 20 minutes just stationary, and that's um, rock solid where it should be on the, um, on the scale, so I'm pleased about that and um, all looking good. Yeah, seatbelt light comes on. I think that's a common problem with that sensor in the passenger seat, so I need to get hold of that, sort that out. All these jobs. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed um, this afternoon's little jaunt. It was nothing more than a trip off the drive and up the car wash and um, round about the streets of Bournemouth and out into the New Forest a little bit. Um, but uh, great to be out as I mentioned and um, I hope you're all enjoying life wherever you are and uh, doing work on your stags and whatever. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We're always here. I'd uh, love to see more of you as and when. And uh, we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. All the best guys, cheers for now.